Hello. I'm going to be sowing some pre-germinated parsnip seeds today uh, into 10 inch buckets and these more than likely will be part of my square foot bucket garden. Uh, I grew this same variety last year, I'm growing it again this year and it's a variety called Gladiator. Now I'm going to cut you to a clip of video that I shot last year when I actually harvested from a 10 inch water bucket that had been part of a square foot bucket garden. Um, I'd also harvested some beetroot, uh, four parsnips in a bucket, four beetroot in a bucket. I won't show you the beetroot in this clip because, well, because we're talking about parsnips today. Okay, watch that clip, then come back to me. These are the parsnips, four in this bucket. I think these are probably more easily seen than the beetroot were. Um, yeah, uh, we'll just turn this bucket round as well, see if you can get a, a look at them all. Two smallish ones, and two that look a wee bit bigger. So I think we'll take one of these big ones. I think we'll take this guy. What do you think? Okay. Now this is likely to be more of a struggle, but we won't know until we try, will we? How did we say we would do this? Push down and twist. Okay, here it goes. Push down and twist. Well, we can hear some roots snapping, so something's giving. Here we go. Let's move that leaf so you can see it coming out. Ho ho ho, come on. We're happy with that. From a 10 inch water bucket. We're definitely happy with that from a 10 inch water bucket. We're back again. I've cleaned these two up. There you've got to admit, two nice vegetables from a small water bucket standing out in the garden. This is worth doing isn't it? Is that a beauty? I think it is. Look at it. It's lovely. You know what it reminds me of? A cricket ball. It's about the same size and colour as a cricket ball. And where are we going as soon as I've finished this video? We're going back indoors to watch the cricket, which will be coming on very shortly, I expect. Okay, so that's a cricket ball sized beetroot from a small 10 inch water bucket. And there's three left in that bucket growing on. And this is a small parsnip that grew in a 10 inch water bucket. And there's three of those still in that 10 inch water bucket growing on. Hey, it's worth doing isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Right, let's get these uh, vegetables indoors out of the sun. Uh, let's get the kettle on. And let's get uh, relaxing in front of that uh, telly. Come on, homegrown veg. Molly, get that kettle on. We're coming in. Okay, so I don't think I mentioned it in that clip, but I certainly mentioned it in the um, video itself that the parsnips were a stump rooted variety. I didn't know that, and it took me by surprise when I actually harvested the parsnips. Uh, and they did look stump rooted. Um, and then after I recorded the video, I came indoors. And this was the packet that the seeds came in. And there's very little information on there 
Uberman, the name of the parsnip, gladiator, and I'm going to eat 125 seeds in that packet. But then I got this, the thinking, well, was it really a stump rooted variety or did it just grow stump rooted? And if it grew stump rooted, why did it grow stump rooted? I'd rooted the bottom of the bucket and then it didn't want to grow any longer. Um, were they not in the bucket long enough? I honestly don't know. But since then, I bought another packet of uh, parsnip seeds, Gladiator. Now let me just read you what it says on the back of this. A British bred, vigorous hybrid with long roots of exhibition quality. Very reliable. It shows resistance to canker and has smooth white skins. Wow! It's a long variety. It's not stump rooted. So let me apologise. Let me apologise. I said it was stump rooted. I'm fairly sure I did. It wasn't stump rooted. It grew stump rooted, but it wasn't a stump rooted variety. It's a long rooted exhibition variety. Right, I'm glad I've got that off my chest. Um, okay, so what have we got here? Um, these parsnip seeds have been on this wet tissue now for about three weeks. Um, some of them have germinated, in fact most of them have germinated. Uh, and there's a small white tail uh, coming from the end of the seed. That lets me know that that particular seed is viable, it's germinated. Any seed in there that hasn't developed so far, I don't know whether it's viable or not, and so I might not want to plant it at a later date. So the ones we're going to be planting today are the ones exhibiting a small white tail. And we're going to do it at this size um, because I find it easier. Those little white tails tend to want to get into the tissue and don't want to leave go and so you then have an issue trying to lift these seeds off the tissue. So we're going outdoors now, it's still quite windy, um, we're going outdoors, we're going in the greenhouse. Um, I've been preparing some buckets with soil um, and I've been utilising uh, a coffee table leg. Okay, uh, let's go outdoors and let's plant some of these uh, parsnips. Come on. This is my coffee table leg. It's got a mark on it at about the same depth as the bucket, just about. Bucket's filled with soil and I've got some much finer soil here that's had some sand cut into it just to loosen it up and it's been through the garden riddle. Okay now what we're going to do is we're going to produce four columns of very fine soil that we're going to sow these parsnip seeds on and this is how we're going to do it. We're simply going to take the coffee table leg and push it in to the bucket like this. Okay, take it out and we're going to fill that hole with this fine soil. Oh, hailstones, can you hear them? That's where it is. And that's where the seed needs to go, so we'll mark that. Okay. Still one here. Mark that. 
Now I also use this method in the garden. Check this out. That was a row of holes being ready to be filled with a light mixture. And then the pre-germinated seeds or small seedlings, I've done it uh, different ways over the years, would be planted directly above that column of finer material. And that would give the parsnip the best opportunity to put a long root down. Whether it will or not, only time will tell, but I got some real good parsnips out of the raised bed. pleased with the ones I got out of these buckets. If, you, if you've only got a small area to work in you can grow parsnips in a 10 inch bucket and if, you, if you're a five gallon bucket person you can grow parsnips in a five gallon bucket. Right, let's get the parsnips. Right, we've got our parsnips, we've also got our water spray uh, it's vital that these guys don't dry out. If they dry out, it's curtains. So let's make sure this soil's a bit wet before we plant them. It's a little spray of water. Now the packet tells me that these seeds need to be in a um, quarter of an inch deep. Okay. I'm going to plant them quarter of an inch deep, I'm going to put them on the top and then I'm going to cover them up. Let's do this one first. We'll just use this knife to get a seed out. Can you see that? I hope you can. There's the seed on the end of the blade. All I'm going to do is pop it on like that. Okay, it's got a, a good contact and we'll simply put a wee bit of um, this fine soil on top of it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this white pebble to the outside of the pot because I know that that's where I'm expecting a parsnip to start and grow. It, it just lets me um, keep an eye on what's happening in the pot even before the uh, parsnips break through. Is that crackers? Does that sound crackers? Okay. Pop in there. Put that there and put a little soil on top of that one. Hey, how good's that? Now I am going to give this a final spray with water uh, in a minute. Now this is a lot quicker if you're not making a video. I know it looks fiddly, but it isn't. It's, it's easy, dead easy. Last one. Now I have got other buckets ready and I am going to be sowing some more of these parsnips but you'll be pleased to know not on camera. So when we get this finished we can all go and have a cup of tea. Put that there. Okay. How's that? Four parsnips 
pre-germinated, sown in a 10 inch water bucket which will become part of a square foot bucket garden. Hey, come on homegrown veg. Uh, and if you want to know more about square foot bucket gardens, there's lots of stuff on my channel. Just have a look. Just have a look. Okay, so this is homegrown veg, signing out.